Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Iwana. I am from group called Ace. So firstly, I'm going to introduce my members. Our group consists of four students, including me, Iwana, Atika, Nurin, and Ainisa. So I'm going to introduce about my project that is uh, SMK Sultana Asma Form 2 BMI Analysis. Firstly, what is BMI? BMI stands for Body Mass Index. It's a calculation to determine a person's body fat category. The meaning of obesity. Overweight and obesity are defined as abnormal or excessive fat accumulation that present a risk to health. A crude population measure of obesity in the body mass index BMI, a person weight divided by the square of his or her height. A person with a BMI of 30 or more is generally considered obese. How to calculate BMI? With the metric system, the formula for BMI is weight in kilogram divided by height in meter square. Since height is commonly measured in centimeters, an alternate calculation formula dividing the weight in kilograms by the height in centimeters squared, and then multiplying the result by 10,000 can be used. So, what is the relation of BMI and obesity? If your BMI is less than 18.5, you are underweight. If your BMI is 18.5 to 25, it is um, normal. If your BMI is 25 to 13, and then you are um, overweight. And if your BMI is 13 or more, you are um, mostly obesity. So the next one is factors that can lead to obesity in teenagers. The first factor is lack of exercise. Children who, de who don't exercise much are more likely to gain weight because they don't burn as many calories. Uh, too much spend time in sedentary activities such as watching television or playing video games also contributes to the problem. The second one is Psychological factors, personal, parental, and family stress can increase a child's risk of obesity. Some children um, overeat to, to cope with problems or to deal with emotions such as stress or to fight boredom. And then uh, socioeconomic factors, people in some community have limited resources and limited access to supermarket. As a result, they might buy um, convenient foods that don't spoil quickly such as frozen meals, cookies and crackers. Um, and the last one uh, is eating high calories food such as fast food big goods and vending machine snacks can cause your trip, can cause your child to the, the last factor is eating high calorie food regularly eating high calorie calorie food such as fast food baked goods and vending machines snacks can cause your child to gain weight the next slide is how to manage ideal body weight uh, number one is eat more filling food. Eat foods that enable you to feel full for a longer period uh, that are generally high in protein, fiber, and water contents such as out alone or in a group and do you prefer workout indoor or outdoor. The last one is stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water or other no calorie unsweetened beverages and avoid it. In data collection, we got this material from WhatsApp which is our bash code. Next, in data collection, 
is procedure. First, groups are formed among the class members. Second, survey conducted among form 2 students. Third, data collected then analyzed using suitable measures of central tendency. Fourth, groups discussion. Fifth, report writing. From the data, here are our analysis and discussion. The pie chart and bar chart shows the classification of BMI for 50 students. Based on the frequency table, the mode is the BMI that's less than 18.5 as it has the highest frequency. The median is 18.075 and the mean is 17.48. For this type of data, the most suitable measures of central tendency that we choose is pie chart. We choose pie chart because there are numbers that tell us things like the average, the range of data, and the middle number. As a conclusion, we could summarize that measures of central tendencies are very important to let us know what is normal or average for a set of data set down to one representative value which is useful when we are working with large amount of data. From our data, we could see that most of SMK stand are small form to student are underway. It may be because of genetics factors, irregular eating, skipping meals, or ignoring physical fitness and have a high metabolism. Average BMI for SMK Sutana Asma Form 2 student are less than 18.5 which is underweight.